WYFF News 4, live local breaking news at 6. Well, it looks like a rocky night in store with the potential for dangerous... You're watching Channel 4 Action News with Sally Wigan, Weather Watch 4 meteorologist Demetrius Ivory, and Sky 4 with breaking news live. This is Channel 4 Action News. You're watching WGAL 8. Now, coverage you can count on continues from the Susquehanna Valley's most watched news team. This is News 8 at 6 in HD. News 5, live local late breaking with Paul Folger, Jessica Schembach, Sports Director Bob Erzik, and Chief Meteorologist Damon Lane. Now, Eyewitness News 5 continues. Welcome back. Our state earned low marks. Leading the way on air, online, and on the go. News 5 at 11 starts now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Curtis Fuller. We begin tonight with some breaking news. The federal government. You're watching the Triad's number one newscast, WXII 12 News at 11. Yeah, they did. They took me to a different room, and that's when they took my pants. You're watching Nightcast. Prosecutors know how this little girl died, but they're not sane as an entire community looks for answers. This is Action 7 News Live at 10. We begin with first alert weather. Winter weather is headed for the land of enchantment tonight. Your breaking news leader, WISN 12. Number one across southeastern Wisconsin. Leading the way with important local coverage. This is 12 News at 6. And new at 6, a countdown to Wisconsin's primary with only three weeks to go. We take you inside the two campaigns. You're watching Omaha's ABC, KETV, Channel 7. Your favorite choice for local news. This is KETV News Watch 7 at 6. Right now at 6 o'clock, thousands of drivers are in the metro making their way to local body shops. You're watching WCTV-TV, Boston. This is News Center 5 at 11. They will search all night for a little girl in Rockport. The two-and-a-half-year-old vanished, playing on the beach with her family this afternoon. And even in the dark tonight, and in the difficult conditions, crews are still out of the water at this hour. This little girl was last seen around noontime today. 11 minutes of nonstop news begins with Cheryl Fiandaka. And Cheryl, police have not ruled out foul play. No one covers New Hampshire like we do in high definition. Now, WMUR News 9 at 530. We will have the latest on the snow in a moment, but we continue to follow the breaking news in Plastow, where three people are dead, and the fire department says carbon monoxide is to blame. Shelley Walcott is live in the newsroom with the details that are just coming in. Local, live, late breaking. This is KNBC 9 News at 5. Tough questions. Finding who's accountable. 16 WAPT News at 10 starts now. Live, local, late breaking. This is WBAL TV 11 News at 6 in HD. Our big story tonight at 6 o'clock. This is WDSU News at 5. When I realized the child tried to sit up and he did that, all I could say, baby, don't move, because I saw the white of her skin where he had tore that away. This is WLKY, live, local, late breaking. Your complete news coverage for Greater Louisville starts right now. Clarksville police make a quick arrest after finding a teenager's body. A fiery crash along Interstate 65 south of Elizabethtown takes six lives. News Channel 8 HD starts now. KSBW Channel 8, Salinas, Monterey, Santa Cruz. This is Action News 8. Coverage you can count on. Good Tuesday morning. And Covering the Palm Beaches and the Treasure Coast. This is WPBF 25 News. 
Big developments tonight in the case of a missing college student from South Florida. Good evening, I'm Erin Guy. Thanks for joining us. The case of 18-year-old Christian Aguilar is one of our top stories tonight. Also, Ted White is covering a somber anniversary. Local, live, late breaking. This is West 2 News at 6. KCRA 3 News begins now. New information now in our breaking news first alert and a police investigation going on in Stockton where they're investigating the discovery of an explosive. Fort Smith and Northwest Arkansas's best local news. This is 4029. Live, local, late breaking. You're watching 4029 News at 5. Six on News 8. Maine's GOP majority in Augusta says they are setting the record straight about what they have accomplished, but opponents say not so fast. There have been a couple of showers around during the afternoon, but most folks should stay dry through the night. The two people charged in connection with the Kennebunk prostitution case appear in court. What new allegation came out in front of the judge? Your top stories of the day, your complete forecast, all in the first eight minutes. News 8 at 6 starts right now. A judge is refusing to keep the names of alleged clients called. KITV 4 News at 10, Hawaii's only one-hour late newscast. Breaking news out of Moiliili tonight. Police are